Hey everybody, it's Mr. Postman here, and I'm back with another Minecraft video. Today, I'm going to be playing, I guess, kind of what some of you guys requested. Uh, a lot of you guys requested I do some different custom maps and some uh, survival and some CTM. So what I'm doing today, um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen this before, but it's the Feed the Beast map, uh, which is... Over there, basically, you can see there's a pyramid. Um, and it's kind of like Skyblock Survival, and kind of like uh, a Complete the Monument map. And I'll explain how how it's like that in a moment. Um, so, some basic rules that we've got are that... Um, well, actually... Oh, I didn't realise you could turn that off. Okay, um, so some of the basic rules are over here, which is the starting area, you are not allowed to break any blocks. Over there, on the, m on the pyramid, you're not allowed to break or place, I believe, any blocks as well. Uh, we got a bed here, we can only sleep at night, obviously. Um, project table. So, I don't know if you guys have done a lot of uh, feed the beast slash modding. Um, Oh man, why is it raining? Um, let's get it out of the rain. Um, but basically this is the Feed the Beast mod pack in a custom map, which was created by the Feed the Beast team. I hate this rain. Uh, read the rules past this door, so I'll read them out to you. Um, I've looked in this map before, I've done it a little bit. Only cables and lighting may be placed on the monument. Do not take or destroy any blocks from the spawn area. Do not take or destroy any blocks from the monument area, which is obviously that over there. In the event of death, visit the extra room life upstairs. For timed runs, your time has already started. You can see there's a time wrap in the corner. Uh, to start, stand in the hole, push button, and count to five. Let's get going. Three, four, five. Hit. Bam. I wish I really wish it would stop raining. So we got a gravel block. We got a chest with a few things in it. Uh, these four things you guys will be familiar with. This thing probably not so much. Um, you know what, I'm gonna put this in here. So this is a philosopher's stone and it's from a mod called Equivalent Exchange. Um, what the philosopher's stone allows you to do is basically well I'll show you later, but it basically allows you to convert certain blocks into other blocks. So this stone, I could change it into cobblestone and into grass and things that are of equal value. And that's, you know, so I know what we got to do here. There's the uh, monument over there. As you would imagine, we probably have to make a cobblestone generator, but there's no lava here, so we can't do that yet. So if you look down here, I don't know if you can quite see it, but there is a little platform down there. And when we get down there, um, well, you'll know what's going on. So we need to place the water source block there and take a ride down the water elevator. So what the Philosopher's Stone, or what Equivalent Exchange is all about is each, uh, we don't have any items on us, but um, each item uh, has an EMC value. And I'm not quite sure what EMC stands for, but um, basically what that means is each item has a certain cost, and things that are of equal cost, you can, using tools from the equivalent exchange mod, you can swap items of equal cost, which is pretty cool. Uh, just confirming here, we're playing on normal difficulty. And you know what? I might turn this sound down to, um, normally I put my own music in. Uh, we've got a piece of bedrock. This is not the bedrock you are looking for. Well, I wasn't looking for bedrock, but thank you. Thank you for clarifying. So we've got a little platform down here, as you can tell. Um, nether portal. This stuff down there, um, that is basalt, I believe, which is from one of the other mods, which I cannot remember what it is at the moment. I think it's extra biomes. Um, so we're in the nether. It's not a whole lot here, and it's flickering really weird, which is probably Optifine. Um, this is the last gift. So we'll break the sand. We've got a chest here. I think it's called an al uh, alchemist chest, or an al alchemical chest, I think is what it's called. So we're going to take the obsidian, sapling, see how you've got an EMC value uh, on the little tooltip? That means that mushroom can be exchanged with any 
any other matter item um, which has an EMC value of 32. And I haven't quite uh, got the definition of what matter is and what fuel is. Um, matter is things like blocks and fuel is things like coal, I guess, fuel. Um, so we're going to head back up here. Uh, I can't do a whole lot while I'm climbing, but yeah. So this is my answer to uh, a CTM map before before Vex new map comes out, uh, which should be soon, I hope, uh, Inferno Mines. And I think it's kind of cool because I like the mods and I haven't played a whole lot through this. I've played a little bit to try and get the intro started because if you didn't know any of this, you probably wouldn't get very far. You'd kind of be stuck unless you looked it up. Uh, so what we do have here uh, in my hand is a dark matter pickaxe. And from what I've heard, a dark matter pickaxe uh, allows you to... It basically, it never breaks. And what you can do is you can press the V button to charge it and shift V to uncharge it. And it makes that funky sound. And what that does is I believe it allows you to break a bunch of ore blocks in one go. So if you charge it all the way up, I think you can break 10 adjacent ore blocks in one hit, which is pretty cool. And as I said, it also, it never breaks, which is really cool. And it's really fast. And as far as I know, you can break anything that you can break with a diamond pickaxe and it even does it faster. So that's really cool. So we're up here now. Uh, we've got a lava source block and the rain's still going. I'm going to turn that down even further because that's... I, I hate the sound of the rain. Um, we've got a lava source block. What else do we have? So we'll put it all in here. Five obsidian. Uh, a sapling, which is jungle sapling. Mushroom, lava source block, dark matter pick, sand, mushroom, bone meal. Uh, a spruce, I think? No. That's a different type of sapling, but I can't remember its name. Philosopher's Stone and Gravel. So, what I'm going to do here, I think... Uh, if we get this Philosopher's Stone out, I'll show it off. And with... You know how I showed you the V with the Dark Matter Pickaxe? You can do the same thing with the Philosopher's Stone. So, see how it's little chargey thing changes. So, just a little, you know... So I'll put the sand down, and what I want to turn this into is, I think, dirt. So if I just right-click on the sand, there we go. So it can change things um, to other things of equal EMC value, which is really cool. So uh, basically I need to make a cobblestone generator, and I think the way I want to do that, I'm not great at these, but... Oh my gosh! Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, that sucked. Um, let's put this gravel down. <laughs> that was terrible. What so, gravel's worth 4 AMC, and so is sandstone. So, that was really terrible of me. Um, it was sand, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I can get that back later with the Philosopher's Stone. Um, so, I'm going to place a uh, sandstone here, and I'm going to place my lava source block. Right... Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to place my lava source block here. I'm not, like I said, I, I'm not great at these generators, but I think this is going to work out. So if I break this, yes, look at that. Cobblestone generator to the rescue. Now, it's not the safest thing in the world, and I think that's going to cause some issues. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, yeah, what I should have done, and what I should still do. Um, uh, so I've got two cobblestone now. Uh, I should really stop. Uh, this isn't going to work, is it? Um, hmm. What if I do this? No, that's not going to work either. I basically want to stop this from flowing everywhere, but I don't think it's going to work out too well for me. Um, yeah, okay. This is going to make a big mess, I think, but that's all right. We've got our cobble generator, um, and a lot of cobble, by the looks of it. So, <laughs> um, you know what I might do? I might try and safely get down here and get some cobblestone. So, I'll be right back, guys. I'm just going to... This is rather safe. Actually, it's not really, is it? Because there's lava right below us. So I'm going to get this, 
and this, and then I'm going to come back up. And I'm imagining this water's probably like totally stuffed a lot of things up down there, uh, but that's alright. Uh, and so what we need to do next, well, let me just, I haven't really explained much of this yet to you, have I? Um, so the pyramid over there, which we'll get over to in a minute, um, is kind of like the monument in a Vex Complete the Monument map. And what that means is you go over there and you can see there's the throne room. And there's a bunch of signs on the walls uh, with lights adjacent to them. And what you have to do is basically on those signs there is an objective. And the objective is uh, an item that you have to get. And you basically have to make that item. And it's an item from one of the mods. And it, you know, there's I think there's 12 different... Um, different uh, thingos, whatever you call them, um, goals, and so you have to make all those items and feed it to the beast, which is uh, a little bit of machinery in that throne room, which I'll show you later. Um, so what I think I want to do, yeah, I want to leave this for now, I'm going to, um, I'm going to let you guys go for a second, I'm probably just jump cut or something, as Joe Hill says, and I'm going to... I think just go and make a bunch of, uh, get a bunch of cobblestone. So I'll be right back, guys. So, uh, I'm back, guys. I was just coming down to mine all this excess cobblestone, and it looks like my weird lava generator has kind of stuffed up the portal a little bit. Um, well, no, it hasn't stuffed it up. It's just covered it in shit. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's still okay. It's just a bit hazardous. What I really should have done, uh, I don't know if I could have though, I don't think I had enough blocks, is if I had the resources, I probably should have blocked off the bottom of the lava before I placed it. So, th oh my gosh, that was terrifying. I am terrible. Uh, yeah, I should have blocked off the bottom of the lava so that it wouldn't flow all the way down here and so that it just stopped. But, you know, hindsight. I'll be right back when I get to the top of the elevator. Hey guys, just getting back to the top of the elevator. Uh, just while I think of it as well, i got to let you guys know where you can, I guess, download the map. If you go to feed-the-beast.com, you can download the... I can hear a skeleton up here. Um, man, don't knock me into the lava, please! Um, yeah, you can download the mod pack from feed-the-beast.com. And you can also, with, with the mod pack launcher, you can download this map. Uh, which is cool. Basically what we want to do. So, what I'm going to do now, I don't know if you want to watch this, but I'm going to basically build a little bit of a bridge over to the monument. Um, so I'll probably cut this out because it's quite boring. I'll keep recording in case something happens, but anyway, I'll see you in a sec. Almost there, guys. And just before we get there, I guess I should let you know. Uh, the mod pack, or sorry, this map itself, is actually created for Minecraft 1.2.5. So there might be some old, uh, I guess, bugs and some new features that aren't in here. But we've got a bunch of mods to play with. So that I think that's alright. So we've just touched ground, kind of. Um, this little block here has a little bit of a gap. As far as I know, you can't fall through it, so that's... I'm glad that I didn't just fail there. Uh, so we're over on the pyramid. These torches, I don't remember what they're called. I think they're called... Um, now, here's another part of the mod pack. It's called Not Enough Items. And it, it's kind of like too many items, but you can click on an item, and it shows you how to make it. So that's really cool. You can also right-click on an item and tell you what recipes it's used in. Uh, so what I want to search for here, you can use this little box down here to search. So obviously that's not what it's called. Int if we t search for torch, it should show up. Yeah, int interdiction torch. And it's really expensive, but it basically, as far as I can tell, they stop mobs. or Mobs cannot come near them. They like fly away if they come near them. So this is the throne room. 
uh, it looks pretty fancy. These things here are called micro blocks, uh, and they're really good for decoration, and I think they're from the Red Power 2 mod. But what this place is, these are all torch uh, sorry, lamps of different colors. We've got the throne over here. This thing is a transposer, as far as I can tell. And what the transposer does is it sucks in items that you throw on it. So I'm not going to de demonstrate yet, but you throw an item there and it sucks it in. And what that does is uh, it basically it searches for these items. And when you get these, it lights up this. And up here, you can see around the pyramid, I'm not going to look at you, Mr. Enderbutt, uh, but there's all these little cavities and these little doors. And so these lamps here, they line up with the uh, challenges downstairs. And when you light it up, those frame doors open and something happens. You get some kind of prize, but I don't really know what we get yet. So from what I can tell, these don't seem to be any in any particular order, I don't think. Um, although these may be the hardest. I, I don't, I'll, I might have to look that up, but uh, there's companion cube, iron chest, builder, ender chest, centrifuge extractor, biofuel cans times 64, bedrock, 10 million EU, which is energy units, blutricity connected using jacketed and normal wire, collector mark 3, MV solar away, array, splash potion of harming instant damage 2, chassis mark 5, frame motor, geothermal generator, and a squeezer. So they're all the items we want to get, and when we get them, we want to throw them into there. And when we do that, we will get the prize. So, yeah, I think I'll have to look up exactly uh, the order that these go in. But I'm fairly certain that we want to start with the companion cube. Or maybe the squeezer. What do, no, I don't think we can make the squeezer yet. Uh, so you could search down here and just click on the item you want. And it shows you how to make it. So for a squeezer, we need glass, tin, and a sturdy machine, which we definitely do not have yet. Uh, what we can get is a companion cube. Uh, and actually, I don't think we can learn how to make that. What we want is a storage cube. Weighted storage cube. So for that, we need four smooth stone and four iron ingots. Should be fairly easy to make, right? Except that we don't have any... Well, any of that. We have some cobblestone, some smooth stone there. Um, so what we want to do next, I guess we can start. Another cool feature of this Philosopher's Stone is if you press C with it in your hand, you can use it as a crafting table. Pretty neat. Uh, so what we want to do here is make ourselves a furnace. For now, I'm just going to put it there. Uh, and we want to... Actually, we can't do anything yet. What we need to do is get some more cobblestone and I'm just gonna make a little bit of a bigger platform here so that we don't you know spontaneously die um, I don't have much more than that actually that might have to do for now mm, oh, really I don't want it to have to do for now um, I'm gonna take that back put it in there and you know what guys I'll be right back I'll just do some more cobblestone mining so I got a little bit of cobblestone. Um, another thing that I should probably let you guys know is this map also comes in an insane mode, which I have had a look at with Miss Postman. It's also multiplayer compatible, um, but the insane mode is exactly what it says. It is extremely difficult. It is insane. Um, you have to make basically for each of those things, you have to make nine items instead of just the one, and they're all like a million times harder. So that's going to be, yeah, we don't really want to do that. So what I want to do here, if I remember correctly, with the uh, Philosopher's Stone, we can right-click, uh, shift and right-click, and it'll turn cobblestone into grass. So then what we want to do is get this, oh, uh, you know what, we should get the, no, we don't want to get the jungle tree yet. Uh, we'll put this sapling down, and we'll hit it with the, mm, yeah, we'll hit it, hit it with the bone meal make it grow, and we'll get some wood out of it. You know, just punching trees. It's, I think it's kind of strange that in most Let's Plays, uh, punching trees is the first thing you do, but in this and Skyblock and things like that, uh, you actually do quite a few things before you punch trees. 
Actually, I don't know about Skyblock. I think Skyblock, the first thing you do is punch trees. But not in this. We've... I've been recording for like 25 minutes now, or 26 as the counter shows, and it's taken us a while to get to the punching trees point. So I'm going to see if we can get some... Ah, that'll degenerate by itself. Put that sapling back. Uh, and what we want to do now is use some of this wood with the furnace. You guys probably know this trick already, but you put um, wooden block there, and what we want to do as well is break this up into planks, and... If we put two planks in there, or maybe it's one, uh, you get charcoal. It's only one, that's alright. Um, probably put two in there if that's going to work. Yeah, that'll work. Um, maybe three? I don't know. But what we can do with the charcoal then is make this cobblestone into smooth stone, which, as you saw, is what we need for the uh, companion cube. It's also what we need for something else that we're going to get in a sec. So... Give me a sec, and I'll just get some more cobblestone. Okay, so I got some charcoal out of the furnace. Got some cobblestone. We're going to chuck that in there. Um, and let it cook up uh, into smooth stone. And what we want to make next is, I think it is called the transmutation table. And it's another item from equivalent exchange. This one here is portable, and this one here is just a normal one. The portable one's more expensive. Uh, well, yeah, it's double expensive. Actually, you use DM bo blocks, which uh, I don't know how to make. But this is a recipe for the transmutation tablet. We need four obsidian, four smooth stone, and our philosopher's stone. Now, last time I checked, that recipe didn't actually... Uh, we, like, we, we get the... Philosopher's Stone back, which is good, because we really want it. So what I'm going to do is press C on our Philosopher's Stone. I think this is the recipe here. Obsidian on the outside? Maybe. Yes. Alright, so now we've got ourselves a transmutation tablet. We've got our Philosopher's Stone back. Happy days. Alright, so what we want to do with the Philosopher's Stone... Uh, I'm going to take a bit of smooth stone here, just because I want it to look pretty. Uh, we're going to put our transmutation table. Now one thing, uh, I, I'll get to it in a minute I guess. Uh, so we're going to put that there and we're going to put the transmutation table on top. Now I don't know if you need to do that but you know whatever. So this is a strange interface and basically what the transmutation table allows you to do, like I was explaining before we've got all these different items with different uh, EMC values. And what I'm going to do just quickly is make a couple of torches so that we don't get totally annihilated here. I'm going to put one there, one there, one there, and one here. And then I might grab some of this cobble. That's not enough cobble. I'm going to grab some stone and some cobble and I'm going to just totally stuff it up apparently. Gonna take that back and make a little bit of a wall here just so that no mobs sneak up on us. And that's another th cool thing. With the Philosopher's Stone, you can hit cobblestone and make it into smooth stone. And like I showed you before, you can charge it up and make it affect a larger area. So that's really cool. Alright, so what were we doing? I was gonna show you guys uh, the transmutation table. So what you can do is it allows you to create, uh, convert things, transmute things from uh, one object to another of the same EMC value. So you see the wood's 32 EMC, sticks at 4, so if you put a stick in this left side, it popped up there and said learned. So what that means is the transmutation table now knows how to make that. So you can't just randomly make stuff. Like, you have to have learned it, and you also have to have the right number of EMC. So we're going to put the stone in there, we don't have any more cobblestone, but we can fix that. I'll just show you this real quick. So we've got a piece of cobblestone, we can put that in there, and it's learned that. So, see, cobblestone is one EMC, stone is one EMC. So what we can do is we can either leave it in here, or we can put it in here, which just burns it. So you can put a whole stack of cobblestone in there, and then you can click on which one you want to get. So we've got one EMC stored up in this table. You can hit the smooth stone, and... What we just did was converted cobblestone to smooth stone. So that's pretty awesome. 
and it's not limited to that either. So what we can do here, as you can see, we could put this in here and we could get 32 cobblestone or 32 stone. Uh, we could also get uh, 8 sticks out of it, which is what you would normally get anyway. Uh, so we're here, there's a creeper over there. And so basically, as you can tell, uh, you can't just randomly make stuff. You have to be able to learn how to make it first. So we can't just randomly chuck a bunch of wood in there and make diamonds. You need to teach it first. So what we're going to do now uh, is something that you probably already know how to do, is we're going to make a sword. And we're going to go take on this creeper so that he doesn't blow anything up. Get out of the way, creeper. I don't know if I can kill him from here. Don't explode, please. And we'll see. See, he dropped two gunpowder. So what we can do here is we can check. It's 192 EMC. That's the biggest amount of EMC we've got so far, I think. So we're going to put some smooth stone back here. Chuck the gunpowder in here so the transmutation table learns it. As you can see, all the other stuff's disappeared. So gunpowder is in a class where it's classed as fuel. And I hinted to add it before. So you can see up here it says fuel. Uh, I, I hinted at it before and there's things that are matter and there's things that are fuel. So things that are matter can be transmuted into other matter. Things that are fuel can be transmuted into other fuel. So fuel would be coal, charcoal, gunpowder, things like that. What I really should have done is put, and I'm probably just going to do it now. Have I put sticks in my table yet? Yes, okay. So I'm going to cook up another piece of charcoal and I'll, I guess, we'll learn that. We've just grown our tree, which is nice. Uh, and so far as I can tell, trees are going to be a good source of renewable EMC in this map. Because each one of these uh, wood blocks is 32 EMC each. And I don't know if you saw before, but we've actually got something else in our chest that can help us out. So we've got a jungle tree sapling over here. And I don't know if you guys have seen them before, but jungle trees can get really huge. So what we want to do is we want to put this jungle tree sapling and this tree, whatever it's called, sapling in there. And as you can see, they're both the same EMC value. So what we can do is we can use, say, a piece of wood or, let's say, uh, one, two, three pieces of wood to get three more jungle saplings. And as you know, jungle saplings, you can plant them in a... Let's see how we want to do this in a three by, uh, sorry, two by two area like this. So we have four of them and they will grow really, really huge. So that's what we want. And then we'll have lots and lots and lots of EMC to play with. And apparently there's another creeper here. He just loves my bridge. You love my bridge, don't you? One of the next things I want to do, I think, probably off camera, is yeah, I want to turn... Oh, sorry. So I want to put up like a barrier around this. So I guess I'll show off what we can do with this now. Actually, we can't do it yet. We have to teach the charcoal to the table. And so we can put a gunpowder in here. And uh, I believe that allows us to make um, six charcoal per gunpowder. So I'm going to give that a shot. Yeah, six. So we just made six charcoal by putting one gunpowder in there, which is pretty cool because gunpowder otherwise in Minecraft is fairly useless. I know you can make TNT, but whatever. Uh, what I'm going to do now, actually, I'm going to teach the table my mushrooms. And what we can do with mushrooms, obviously, is make mushroom stew. So I'm going to make myself some mushroom stew here if I can find the right button. So I'm going to make some planks, which I'll probably also teach the table. And then I'm going to make a bowl, or four bowls. Teach that to the table. So as you can see, you just teach everything to the table and you get awesome stuff. Uh, what we want to do here is use this to make good old mushroom stew. We've already taught the mushrooms to the table, so we can make them later if we want to. Teach the stew to the table, and that's worth 70 EMC. So we can put things, we can put matter in there that's worth 70 MC and get mushroom stew out of it. Cool. So what do we have that we can use for that? We're going to put two wood planks in there. And we're going to get 
not much. Oh, that's not seventy. Uh, two. So two wooden planks and a little bit of cobblestone won't hurt because I'm quite hungry here and I'm probably going to die soon if I don't quench my thirst. So as you can probably already tell, the equivalent exchange mod is really good for when you have heaps of items that you don't necessarily use that much, right? So, and instead of making these, I probably should have just made mushrooms, but that's all right. So what? Mushrooms are worth 32 each, so yeah, we can do that next time. So say you've got a bunch of cobblestone. You can just chuck it in this table and make it into something else that you've already learnt. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, there's a bunch of mobs over there. Let's go have a look. So as you can see, they oh, I saw one before. They're, they're getting knocked off by... See how the creeper's getting pushed away by those inter interdiction torches? So they're really cool. Nice and handy. Um, good to, I guess, protect an area like this. You want this to be protected. You don't want random mobs killing everything. Hey, creeper. Now, that doesn't mean... Well, I, I, I don't know if that means they can't spawn or not. But I know that they can't go near those torches. Otherwise, they'll get blown away by them. Oh, man. Like that. So, these are the little doors that open up. So we killed a couple of creepers. Okie dokie. What I think I'm going to do... So there are some other things you can do with the Philosopher's Stone. I don't know if we can see them in any eye. Probably not. Uh, shaped crafting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so what you can do is you can use the Philosopher's Stone to make four gold ingots into a diamond. You can also use it to make one gold ingot into eight iron. So as you saw before, we need iron to make, well, to make a lot of things, but that's the only way, as far as I can tell, how we're gonna get some free iron. So I'm just gonna do some more mining and I'll be back in a sec. So as you can see guys, I have extended our uh, little platform here. I'm going to teach the torch to the transmutation table uh, so that we can get it in the future. And hopefully uh, these jungle tree, this jungle tree should grow in a little bit. And we'll have a bunch of EMC to play with. Like I told you before, uh, this map is quite huge and it's going to go on for a while. Which I kind of like in maps. I, I like when you can play it for a long time. And this is a really cool map. I'm really excited to play this. And I'm really excited uh, for you guys to watch it. So one thing I'm not sure about is if we can... Oh, I really don't want to do it. I might look it up before I do it. Is if you can break this transmutation table and take it somewhere else. I don't want to do it now. Because I don't want it to lose all the stuff we've learnt. Uh, what I will do is... Yeah, I can't move that, so I'm just going to move this over here. I'm thinking this is enough room for the jungle tree to grow. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And I don't know actually if that's high enough, but we, like I said, we'll just wait and see. And I think I might call it... Uh, yeah, I think I might call it an episode here, guys. And you know what, I'm probably going to keep recording straight after this another episode, because it's really fun. But next episode, what we want to do... Uh, I'll give you a hint... To make iron, we need gold, right? Uh, so let's just look that up. Iron ingot, 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 ingot. So to make iron ingots, we need gold. And for some reason, they don't, there we go. We need gold, like this, with the Philosopher's Stone. To get gold, uh, how do you think we're going to get gold, guys? The Philosopher's Stone doesn't do it, uh, unless you have iron already. Um, we've got a nether down there. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a hint. You probably know what we're doing now, but I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.